When the first Europeans came out to settle this country, they didn't know what to make of our rather strange creatures, especially the mammals. So they called them after the animals they knew. And we ended up with names like Tasmanian tiger, which is not a tiger. We ended up with the koala bear, which is nothing like a bear. Marsupial mole made a lot more sense because it does burrow in the ground. But uh, marsupial mouse? Well, there are lots of marsupial mice and none of them are mice. It's a very confusing story, but we are, to some extent, stuck with those names, inappropriate as they are. And one of them, highly inappropriate, was for this little character, which was known for a very long time as the native cat. In fact, there are several kinds of these, more properly known as quolls, and that's the name they're referred to uh, as today. But in fact, even cat was a mistake, because the first people looking at these thought they were rather like a ferret. If I get it to open its mouth, you'll see why. Ferrets have good biting teeth, and so does this one. It's a ferocious predator, a great hunter. And they thought, well, it's like a ferret, we'll call it a ferret, but they called it a polecat, which is an another name for the ferret. And so it became the native polecat, shortened later to native cat. Well, it's nothing like a cat, although it does climb trees and it is a hunter. You can see how well it hunts if I put my finger in its mouth here. This is why I'm wearing gloves. It's not very big, but it's very strong, and those teeth are very sharp. Now, it climbs trees with these. On the hind feet particularly, you can see these rather pronounced toe pads. They're there to cushion the jump as it leaps from bough to bough. And on the surface of each, it's got what you've got in your fingers, really things like fingertips. They're called striations, and they give it a very good grip on the surface of the tree trunk. Well, it's a very endearing little creature, if you like, ferocious natives. But it's also endangered because the Europeans, when they came, brought their own hunters with them, the fox and the cat. They not only knock off this when they can get it, they uh, compete with it for food. And that's one reason, of course, that it's threatened. The other is that it can be killed and made extinct by clearing of the place in which it lives, and that's the, the forest. You can see how it survives there by looking at the coat. With the dappled light coming through the leaves, the white spots, of course, give it a very good camouflage. You can sit up there in the trees and generally escape notice from things like hawks and eagles. There we are, the little quoll.